So that's one of her photos. She's so pretty. Goals. She's goals. This one's one of my favorite selfies of her. She is gorgeous. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Heather Rar, otherwise known as my real name, Heather. Um, I have made a hundred videos and now we're going to continue with the reviews and everything. Um, one of my next videos is probably going to be a giveaway, so stay tuned for that. But in this video, we are going to play around and create a look and review the brand new Maybelline collab with Gigi Hadid. And I'm reviewing the Jet Setter palette. It has mixed reviews, there's not very many good reviews, but I love to make things work and I like to play things but play with uh, makeup, so we're going to try to do that. Love her. She's a supermodel. She's young. She's beautiful. She has a fresh face. She loves natural looks, but she can also do bold looks. Obviously, runway. Uh, I have medium to tan olive skin. I've dried a normal skin for reference, so if you want to see me create and review this product, then go ahead and keep watching. So I purchased this at Ulta and it retails for $29.99. Um, I did get a discount at 20% off, so it was about $23, I believe. And it comes with a full face of products except for foundation, primer, and eyebrow products, and lashes. But it comes with a blush, a bronzer, a highlight, lips. Concealer, bronzer, what I already said, bronzer. It comes with um, eyeshadows. It also comes with two little brushes and a mascara, and it is super duper meant for travel. It does come in a big kind of container here. It's this thick, it's this big compared to my head, and I'm super excited to try this out. This is what she said about the palette. The most exciting part about making this collection was creating something I wasn't able to find before, a palette or kit that had all my favorite colors and everything I needed, all in one place. So obviously these are all Gigi Hadid's favorites and go-tos, and she has light skin and blue eyes, or is it green? Um, I don't know, but they're mesmerizing. But she has kind of like golden blonde hair and yeah so if you don't look like her these might not be the, the shades for you but at the same time i don't look like her and as you can see i made it work for me so let's get into this video so it comes with two brushes in this jet setter palette one is double ended and this is what this um brush looks like. It is the size of the end of my pointer finger, starting from the bottom of the bottom to the tip. And we have a blending brush here and a packing brush or defined tip brush. It's flat and this feels very nice. And then we have this brush here, which is a contour kind of blush brush, highlight brush can be used for any of those um, things. It's very soft and kind of feels rough on the edges. The Jet Center has four different shades of eyeshadows. I'm going to go ahead and swatch those for you today and see how they look and feel before I put them on my eyes. Okay, so these are the swatches of the four eyeshadows that come in the Jet Setter palette on my tan Asian medium to tan olive skin. And as you can see, we have the two matte darker shades, and they're super pigmented and creamy. And then we have the shimmer shade here, which is sparkly, as you can see on my finger but it's like a subtle sparkle, not anything crazy and blinding like a highlighter. And then we have the neutral shade, I believe the brow bone shade or the beige shade, and it is like a kind of pale lavender kind of 
shade that I probably wouldn't prefer to use. And it isn't super pigmented, but it is very creamy and blendable. So, I'm gonna go ahead and use it anyways. Okay, a part of me does want to swatch the other shades too, just because I do use bronzers and highlights as eyeshadows and blushes and everything. So, I am going to swatch those right now for you before I do my eyes and see if maybe I want to use those as well in my eye look. Okay, so I have all of the shades swatched here. And if you look closer, we have the blush shade, the bronzer, and the highlight. And it is super blinding and pinky. And then we have the bronzer, which is a lighter kind of brown than the eyeshadow look. Then the eye eyeshadow brown. And it is less pigmented, but I would think it would be a good transition color maybe. And then we have the super duper highlighted pinky, hot pinky, Barbie pinky, highlighter pinky kind of um, blush, which I'm going to see if I might like it because in my disco kind of 90s or 80s Halloween tutorial, I really did like this shade on my cheeks. So we're gonna go ahead and see what we can do with these shades and maybe just work on the eyes right now and see what we come up with. By the way, these are the finger swatches. I'm going to use that Colossal Volume Express. This is a travel size. And let's see what the shade looks like. It looks like it is a kind of mad. Oh. And the shade is Classic Black. Which swatches very light. 
and it's almost an ivory shade and then we have the medium which almost has a peachy undertone to it so it could also be used as a corrector I believe so we're gonna go ahead and use both of these first. We're gonna use the, the kind of brown medium tone first for um, to conceal and correct some of my areas. So now I'm gonna go ahead and go in with my finger again, and I think I'm not gonna use a brush. I like the way that my fingers have been applying this and blending it out alone. So I'm gonna go ahead and use that concealer and go uh, the lighter shade and go to all the highlighted areas. So I absolutely love the concealers, both shades, to highlight and just conceal and correct some of the issues and areas I have. I love it. I usually use my finger to apply concealers when I'm just doing an everyday look and I absolutely love the way it blended. I'm going to go ahead and set that with my Maybelline. And because it's such an intense highlight, I'm just going to go in with a light hand. I'm going to go ahead and just squeeze this brush and just dab it in. Dab, 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 just like that. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and create a circle. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and create a bigger circle. bronzer here. On to the lips. We're going to swatch these lips here. Uh, in the Jet Setter palette, this is a lighter shade. It looks like it's a, just like a chapstick. It's very um, glossy and sh like has a sheen to it. So that I'm going to use that as a chapstick. And then we have the more tinted kind of pinky shade, which I actually love during this the Thanksgiving or during the fall and winter. And this is like a perfect shade, it's also very sh has and also has a sheen to it. And let's apply this to my lips. That is the end of um, the tutorial. I'm just gonna go ahead and set everything with my favorite setting spray, which is the Too Faced Hangover 3-in-1 spray.